Hello everybody. Happy Wednesday. I want to jump on. I am back from Vegas and Pittsburgh and all the places that I have been traveling and I wanted to jump on and say hello to you guys. Um, it's been a really, really amazing day. I just was uh, inside of a program doing a, uh, hi Eileen, hi Missy, um, doing a uh, guest hosting experience. I was on there. Um, my beautiful friend Marcy invited me to be inside of her group. So I was just finishing that up, making some dinner and I wanted to jump on and talk with you guys. Oops, that is not my face anymore. One moment, we're back to me. <laughs> we're struggling. All right, here we go. We're back. Okay, so anywho, I was um, doing this call, and this question has been coming up to me today. Hi, Alex. Hi, Kim. Hi, Mom. Hi, Courtney. Hi, Sarah. Okay, saying hello to all of you that jump on. So if you jump on, say hi, and if you end up watching the replay, use hashtag replay. This is like kind of a quick live and a thought that I had. And so I've gotten this message from people probably like two or three times today. Like, I feel like I'm doing all the things in my business. I feel like I'm showing up. I feel like I'm talking, you know, I'm on live video. I'm communicating with my audience. I'm doing the offers. I'm putting out all the things, but like the, the output of what I'm putting into my business isn't matching what I'm receiving back into it. So we're thinking about like clients or people signing up for your programs. And it's so funny that I've gotten this message so much today because I was reading my old journal, um, which is sitting over here and I was reading through it. I remember feeling so many feelings of that of frustration, being like, okay, I'm doing all the things, I'm showing up, I'm providing value. Like when like when does that ripple effect come? Like when does this get to become something that I, you know, get to have and get to see these jumps and all these different things? And so I wanted to break down a couple things that came to mind that I've been sharing with everybody who's been jumping on, um, you know, or sending me a message about this today. And the first thing is that I realized that some things that I um, you know, embodied in my business. I think a, a daily embodiment practice is something that's that's huge. And what I talk about a lot is we go from a place of a knowing to an integration to an embodiment. That's kind of like the phase system that we go through as we're experiencing things and as we're having breakthroughs and as we're having shifts and understanding things. And it's really important to make sure that you know, when you're teaching upon something or you're talking about something, that it's not just something that you have a knowing around, that it's this deep integration and this, it's this an embodiment. And you're working through that. And you're constantly and consistently and finding a way to embody your teachings, embodying like the, the offer that you have out there and making sure that you're still always showing up and, and doing that work. Things like, you know, consistently investing in yourself and doing the healing work, doing the, that energy work is so huge. And so that's something for me that I think is usually a big thing sometimes of why we're not getting it back is that you know there's either some responsibility to the desire that we have so we're afraid that at that next level that things are going to be different or that we might not be able to keep it or it might not be able to stay or whatever fears or blocks and so we'll kind of subconsciously cock block it from coming in uh, because there's something that we're afraid of when it gets there and it might not be something that you know consciously but it might just be something that's like Ooh, okay, that's not safe. Or you've seen that in one area of your life, and maybe you have that belief that you know good things can't stay, or that bad things always have to happen, or something like that, or that it has to be hard, or whatever it might be. And so it can be really frustrating when you feel like you're putting so much output into your business when you're not receiving it back. And that's a big area usually where I see it happening. But also, like in that, in that too, is it's a place of when we're receiving and understanding that you know receiving when we're putting out so much that we have to start to receive and notice that, celebrate that, anchor that in, feel into that in so many other areas of our life because it pops up in our business or pops up in other areas of our life, honestly, first before it comes in into your business. Hi, Amy. Hi, Bridget. And we'll start to see it as a knowing in one area. And then we kind of move it across to become this ripple. So it's like if you're looking to, let's say, earn more money in your business, but right now you're not even celebrating the fact that you have maybe a paycheck coming in from you know your full-time career or you find 10 cents on the ground and you're not celebrating that. Hi, Leah. Um, you know, you're forgetting and kind of bypassing everything that is coming into your life and it, that is circulating back around. And so, um, you know, that's kind of like the 
energetic piece of it, but it's also looking at your business, it's looking at money, it's looking at everything that you're doing as more of an infinity symbol rather than linear. So I talk about this in terms of money, I talk about this in terms of, you know, making decisions and everything. Hi Kristen, hi Nicole. Um, you know, a lot of times we go into this this mindset of when I do something, I should receive something. I should, I'm showing up in my business, I'm getting on live video, I'm doing all the things I should be, you know, receiving. That's a very like linear energy and that's a lot of times how we look at our, our business is we're thinking that if I do, then I'll receive it back or if I show up or if I post this thing, then I should be able to get clients from it whatever it might be, which makes, you know, which makes sense when you're thinking about it, because um, it's a very strategic way to think of things, but it's also very linear. And so what I want to encourage you all to do is to start to think about your business, about your investments, about how you're showing up, all that is a very, like an infinity symbol where you have that trust and that belief that as you do the things that more is going to come back to you and that if you invest money into yourself or into your business, that it's not like this, I put it out there, will I get it back? Will I make my, um, make my ROI, um, you know, will this help me? Like there's like that fear, um, that fear and that scarce energy that comes from that. So start to look at abundance, start to look at your business as this infinity symbol where things are always like, you're always flowing out of things, like you're always putting out the output, but things are always coming back into you and starting to recognize that in how it's showing up right now. And so maybe that's people getting on a live video of yours. Maybe that's people inside of your group. It can look so many different ways, but if there's this very much like attachment to everything, everything where it can, it looks very linear or that's how you think about the money that you spend into your business or the way that you're showing up for everything, having this expectation that something has to come back to you. There's a lot of control around that. There's a lot of um, scarcity and fear. Uh, so I think that that's one beautiful way. I could go into a whole deeper um, top topic about the the infinity symbol within money. Um, I'm actually doing a free money date uh, next Thursday, June, not June, whatever month we're in, May 30th, um, inside of my Facebook group. It's completely free. I'm going to be taking you guys through how I do my money dates, and we're going to talk a little bit more about this like uh, linear linear way of looking at money versus um, how I like to look at it, which is more of that infinity symbol. So we'll dive into that inside of there a little bit more. Um, but the last thing of it is, is making sure that when you're speaking to your clients, one that you're not speaking at them, like that you're speaking with them and you're helping illuminate. So if you're getting objections or, you know, people are saying something that they're not ready to invest in themselves or they're worried about the time or whatever it might be, you have to remember we're often like mirrors or, you know, um, like a reflection of something that either needs to heal inside of us or something that we need to um, work through or something that we need to illuminate the experience of more so in our copy. So then we can become an energetic match to bring in those clients or we're not blocked blocking them. Um, so making sure that you're in integrity, that you're going first, that you're speaking, um, the language of your people and that they know the transformation or the outcome or whatever it is that you're providing to them. I see a lot of times people focus so much on the pain points instead of really selling the destination. Like you have to, you know, obviously do a mix of both. Like your copy and your content is really freaking important. Um, but making sure that like you're illuminating those objections between like your own stories. And it's not about convincing people. It's not about trying to figure out the right words to get them to say yes. Like again, that comes from this very like lack mentality. Mentality. It's more so of like, you've been through this, you are now on the other side of it, you know how to get them through this transformation or help them. So are you illuminating that? And are you speaking their language? Um, are you taking the words literally out of their mouth when you're doing that market research, and they're seeing the transformation? And not only do they see it, but do they feel it? So using um, like sensuality in your business and using um, sensuality and sen your senses in the language that you're using with your people, that's where you see such a shift. It's such a transformation. I get messages every day like you're speaking to my soul. Like you literally sound like you're in my head. And it's because I, I still take the time every single day, even with the transformation that I've had in my business, to still like use the words to market research, to pull my audience, to get more information from them so I can best serve them. And make sure that like the programs that I'm putting out there, the experiences aren't just something that light me up, but making sure that it's something that people are ready um, and you know willing to invest in, and that they want to see that transformation. So illuminating that to them, speaking them, using their language, and getting them to see the transformation, the destination. You're not selling like the plane to you know Jamaica. You're selling the destination of what's going to happen when they get there. And remembering that that comes from you owning your power. That comes from you speaking 
your truth around it too because if you're a personal brand and you want people to pay you for being you they can't pay you unless they know you so making sure that they see your story that they see your energy that they see your light that they see that like you are their vision board and the more that you can speak upon your truth around that and guide them and help them understand that they can know you and trust you through this process like this is where the magic really begins to happen and so I've gotten this message a few times today and so I wanted to share just like a culmination of all my thoughts um, with you guys about this so Make sure that you're, you're doing this for, for your audience and it comes from your content, it comes from how you're sharing, how you're showing up, the inner work, um, who you're being because your soul is the one that lives in the quantum field. So if you're familiar with uh, like the quantum field and all of that, your soul is already there. Who you're being is, is also what brings people in and so the more that you focus on who you are, that energy, that light, um, like transmuting that essentially into the online space so people can see that and feel your heart and know that like like, okay, I'm in, I like this girl, like I know what she's saying and she can help me and that they can put their trust in you, then you're going to have a business that sells out programs. You're going to have a business that gets people to like jump on with whatever you're doing and they're in and they're ready and they're excited and they want to be a part of it because they feel like they're a part of something bigger and they feel like they have that support in that community and that person, that coach, that mentor, you, that's helping them um, along the way and that's going to be there for them every every step. So that's all my thoughts I got for today. Um, I will get on live again tomorrow. But again, I have the free um, money money date. Uh, I'm going to be talking about some money mindset stuff inside of there. More so like the energetics of money. Um, we'll be talking about that again on Thursday, May 30th. It's at 6 p.m. CST inside of Burnout to Breakthrough. Come join and we'll go through a money date. So even if you don't own a business, it's really good to be able to do these sorts of things. And if you do, it's definitely um, good as well. So I'll see you guys again later on. Goodbye.